is Jody from Star Elementary, and my weather question is, what is hail made of? Ah, uh, yes, Jody from Star Elementary. Here she is. She was in the studio earlier with her little sister Erin here with a great, great couple of kids here, and they had a great time at the studio as well, asking a great question. They had a lot of fun with the green blanket here. See what it looks like when you put the green blanket around us and got the green screen behind me right here. And uh, you maybe be the only first two kids I know that get their head inside some hailstones here. So kids having a great time with the studio today. Uh, Jody and Erin, again, from Star Elementary. There's the family sitting on the set right there. Michelle, I'd be careful. Look at that look. Seriously. Take a look at that look. She's, Judy uh, Patootie. Here's our new, uh, could be a new anchor, down, down the road a little. <laughs> Michelle, let us know when you're going to retire. Many, many years off now, but uh, Jody certainly uh, oh, could, be, could be the person to come on in. Well, her question was, what is hail made out of? And generally what you have is hail coming from thunderstorms, and so it comes in the summertime, primarily in the summertime. Violently rising air from all that extra heat that you have causes the raindrops to get forced up into the air where it's still cold and off, and that rain then freezes, and the hailstones will travel around the cloud and the water will continue to, to gather around the ice as, the ra as it goes into the cold air and out of the cold air. And if the wind is strong enough, it can suspend very large hailstones. So the stronger the thunderstorm, the stronger the wind, the bigger the hailstones. Eventually, gravity just takes over, and no strong wind can keep that hail. Sometimes the hail shoots out ahead of that updraft, and you have the hail hitting the ground. And it can be rather large. Typically, around our region, we don't get the real large hail. This might be something that we see here in the Treasure Valley. This is kind of a flat piece, not a round one. But many times, you get hail this size here, several inches across, the largest hailstone recorded. Oh, yeah, we're talking about seven and a quarter inches. And so you can see all kinds of lumps of hail clustered together here, and it's not the best thing for windshields either. All right, let's get to our